Hello guys, today I want to talk about debugging eloquent queries and since the beginning of time we've been all using a package called Laravel debug bar, really popular, really old, still working by a guy named Barry van der Heuvel and it's working great and I've been using that in my own videos a lot of times. But there is one question that I've been asked quite a lot of time on my videos, how to debug the invisible queries in API for example. So visually on the page you can see Laravel debug bar, but if you make a request from API, for example from Postman like this, you send a request and there is no query to be seen here. And today I want to briefly introduce Laravel Telescope, which is a general helper to debug a lot of issues in your application, not only about queries. So in this video let's install Laravel Telescope and see how it works for queries. The installation is very simple, let's do it together. So Composer require Laravel Telescope, then we run telescope install and then we do php artisan migrate which will create a few telescope related tables let's look at the database so we have telescope entries and a few more tables good a few more things we need to polish is to make sure that the telescope is run only locally not on production of course you can install that to dash dash dev from the very beginning but just to make sure let's do as the documentation says so let's go to app service provider and instead of having the app php here telescope service provider we go to app service provider and in register we paste the exact code from there and also it should not be auto discovered so we need to go to composer json and in don't discover paste that here okay we're ready now in our project we go to slash telescope and we have a beautiful dashboard with no requests yet but let's make one request so we have project test the home page let's see we have a new request so it logs all the requests without any configuration there are a lot of things you can configure but by default it looks like this and if we try to load that list of products with the queries it loads that one it doesn't refresh the page by default but you can load new entries and in the requests you can measure the duration and maybe see the slower pages or look at more details it provides the authenticated users the views a lot of stuff that laravel debug bar does as well and in here you can see queries as well database queries from products from users latest queries so 37 seconds ago and that telescope it's not a debug bar it's not part of the web browser so if we launch a postman request like this what we see we see load new entries and we see the queries from the API request. And also in the requests, we see the same API slash API slash products. So if your project contains both web and API, or maybe only API, Laravel Telescope is a way to debug your queries. Of course, it won't show by default how many queries are repeating, but you will see that for yourself and you will see what is the problem in your queries. And final thing I want to mention in this video, while doing the research for this video, I found an interesting article by Barry himself, the author of Laravel Debug Bar. A year ago, he posted a comparison of Laravel Debug Bar and Telescope Toolbar. Telescope Toolbar is a package also quite popular and also contributed by Barry himself. It's an add-on on top of Laravel Telescope and shows pretty similar thing to Debug Bar. So that's another alternative to switch to or another thing that Barry mentioned himself at the end of the article and he's really open about comparisons and all of that. Another alternative is Clockwork. Also pretty popular package with 3000 stars on GitHub. They call themselves PHP dev tools in your browser. So that's another alternative. So at least three alternatives for web-based projects and for API, I recommend Laravel Telescope or there's another tool called Laravel Ray which is not free, it's by company Spati. I have a separate review of that and I will link that in the description below. But I don't want to emphasize that because it's not a free product. So you don't want to think that I'm affiliated with them. But I just wanted to briefly mention and I will link that in the description below. What do you think? What are you using for debugging your queries or debugging your project in general? Shoot in the comments and let's discuss. And if you want to support more videos, daily videos on this channel, check out one of the three products you can see on the screen and see you guys in other videos.